I don't know about you, but I had enough of changing batteries in my DSLR, so I want to make it USB powered. I will use this USB cable that I had lying around. I just stripped the cables and I will actually use only the black and red ones, which are the power wires. Because the USB port only provides 5 volts, I will use a step up converter to boost the voltage to 8.4 volts that the camera actually needs. I will also use these two wires on which I've soldered at the end two little metal strips to imitate the contacts of the battery. And speaking of the battery, I have 3D printed this case that I found on Thingiverse and as luck will have it, the boost converter board fits perfectly inside. Now if you don't have a 3D printer, there's no problem, you can carefully dismantle one of the old batteries and use that as the case and put the boost converter board inside it. Actually it will be easier because you can use the contacts board that's inside the battery and solder directly to it. But I hear you ask, wouldn't the USB wire hang outside the case of the camera? How do you close the battery door? where every DSLR has this kind of rubber door that allows the cable to go out from the battery compartment. As you can imagine, this mode is very cheap, it's not even a dollar. And most of you already have a USB cable around, so you don't even have to buy that. The assembly is very easy as well, you solder the positive and negative wire from the USB to the positive and the negative of the input of the boost converter board. Then at the output you connect a multimeter, you plug in the USB cable into a battery bank or into a phone charger and then you use the screw of the blue potentiometer to set the output voltage of the board to around 8.4 volts. So now I need to replicate on this 3D printed case the contacts from the battery. I only need to connect the two outside pads, the plus and the minus basically. Like I've said, if you modify a battery, you can connect your wires directly to the board inside of the battery. Now I need to find a way to hot glue the contacts inside of the case. And this is what it looks like. I might put a drop of solder on these metal strips just to make sure they make good contact with the contacts inside of the camera. And now the cables are connected at the output of the boost converter board. Make sure to double check the polarity before you solder them. And this is the final product. I will actually 3D print a lid for it to not leave the board exposed like this. And as you can see I put some solder on the contacts like I said. So in theory this should work, so let's try it. I'll get my DSLR and uh, open that rubber flap. And check this out, it fits perfectly inside. And the battery lid closes well. It actually fits really really nicely. But let's see if it works. I am using this camera for YouTube videos, so I will most likely connect the USB cable to an USB charger, like a phone charger. This way I will have unlimited power and I can film as much as I want. Or at least as big as my memory card is. Now to test it, I will just use a battery bank, so let's plug it in. This message is normal, the camera cannot communicate with the battery because uh, there is no battery. Does it have the Canon logo? No. And then you click yes to continue. And check this out, it works with no problems. And this particular power bank lasts 15 times more than the regular small typical camera batteries. So just imagine going somewhere and not being worried about changing batteries or ending your video because your battery dies. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate your help. And let me know in the comments what you think about this idea. See you next time. Bye.